Hey guys, so we have some brand new iPhone 8 and iPhone 7 S Plus leaks and details. Mass production has started. First off, the latest design schematics have been leaked for both iPhone 8 and the 7 S Plus. It follows all the leaks so far, so no sign of fingerprint scanner on the back. Uh, the dimensions tells us that the iPhone 8 is a little bit bigger than the 4.7 inch iPhone 7, while packing a much bigger 5.8 inch OLED display and much smaller than iPhone 7 S Plus. Us. Now this drawing of the iPhone 7 S Plus is similar to the iPhone 7 Plus from last year which again hints that the 7 S series won't be changed design wise compared to the iPhone 7 lineup. We'll just see upgraded internals like the latest camera, latest processor and that's it. We also got some new case leaks as well which matches this design and dimensions. Some cool looking as well. More dummies with some interesting details. As you can see the top, yes this part right here will be the only bezel part that will contain your front camera, facial and retina scanner as well as the earpiece slash speaker and the rest of the area will be the display till the very bottom of the phone. Even the Galaxy S8 has a border at the end. This new amazing display and embedded fingerprint ID will make the iPhone 8 perfect. Obviously the iPhone 8 won't be having the edge display like the Galaxy S8 so uh, that can be a plus point, that can be a minus point. Some people love the edge display, some people don't so Foxconn Insider has shed some light on the recent clone slash dummy prototype of iPhone 8. He actually saw the iPhone 8 in January during engineering validation testing. He claimed that the Touch ID will not be on the rear of the device. Instead, it'll be under the display. Uh, the rear Touch ID rumor is just a misinformation. The design is similar to dummy units but with more gloss. He also said that the iPhone 8 will have 3 gigs of RAM and front camera module will include facial slash retina scanner. Geskin also said that iPhone 8 will feature special alloy of glass and metal. Seems like Apple really wants to make uh, the iPhone 8 durable. They want to make the glass on the iPhone 8 resistant to drops and scratches. So yeah, that's all we have on the upcoming iPhone 8. So far, so good. With all these rumors and leaks, this is making this iPhone 8 the most anticipated iPhone since the original iPhone that was launched back in 2007. I'm excited. Let me know your thoughts on this and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.